Seneca, I'll be there. Hi. Ray? I thought you said nobody else knew about this place. Well, only um, pasta lovers and authorities in Asabuco. I see. Well, actually, I understand that a, a majority of Simori's clientele is addicted to the uh, tortellini. <laughs> Have you ordered yet? No, 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 not yet. Uh, Roger's quite right about the Osabuco. Huh. She's a blonde. The lipstick on the other champagne glass is pale pink. <laughs> Ray, behave yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Valentine's Day brings out the romantic in me. Actually, I'm glad to see you getting out, though, Seneca. Melancholy over a lost wife is a terrible waste of time. Yes. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a call to make. Is uh, something wrong? Hmm? You seem just a little... Uh... Oh, oh, excuse me. I, I have this phone call to make, and I've forgotten the number. It just went completely out of my head. Really? Anyone uh, I know? Uh, no. No, I don't, uh, I don't think so. Uh, it'll come back. Ah, well, you two are about the last people I'd expect to find in, in Samori's. Small world, dear. Do you come here often? Well, actually, I think you were the one that told me about this place two or three years ago. And I quietly put it on my list, and I've been a fan of the Asabuco ever since. Ah. Well, if you excuse me, I have that phone call to make. Yeah, um, maybe you could join us for dessert. Yeah, maybe. Thank you. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Did he seem just a little bit... Uh... Mm, yes. Mm. Well, it, uh, <laughs> looks like this evening might turn out to be a little more interesting than I anticipated. Thank you very much. You, my dear, are always fascinating. Good save. Mm. But it never hurts to have a little intrigue. Intrigue? Well, obviously, Seneca is not dining alone. The... Other champagne glass, remember, with the pink, pale lipstick? Yeah. Well, now, that does not necessarily have to be a romance. Oh, of course it is. How do you deduce that? A, the champagne. It could be a special occasion. Uh, B, hmm. Samori's is not the type of restaurant that you would bring a, oh, a, a colleague or a, a casual friend. How about someone who really loved Italian food? Ray, you're going to blow my whole theory. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ergo. Ergo. Ergo, the noted Dr. Bolak. Has a lady friend. Exactly. You know, you're right. No, of course. No, I mean that it's going to be a more interesting evening than we anticipated. I can't wait to see her. <laughs> Okay. Siobhan upstairs? Yeah, yeah, she's upstairs. She hasn't come down all day. She said she was going to go to bed early. She didn't get much sleep last night. Mm. She all right? Yeah, well, she's handling it all right. Doesn't much like the idea of hand hanging around here, though. Oh, I bet. Mm. She hasn't tried to go see Joe or anything like that, has she? No, she knows how serious the situation is. We've both been keeping an eye on her, trying to get her entertained and everything. You are not telling her any knock-knock jokes, are you? Hey, come on. Actually, she liked them. She thought they were funny. You are kidding. 
Well, Siobhan was always the offbeat one of the family. Mm. Oh, stop teasing him. I would like to hear them. No, I, no, you would not, you catch. Ooh, thank but, you. Mm. Any news on the situation out in Brooklyn? Yeah, I called my guy down at headquarters. Apparently, Tisa on the other side are sending in replacements out of town. How sure are they about that? Well, Jack heard the same thing for a few of his sources. Got to be pretty likely. Well, that means all hell's about to break loose out there, then. Mm -hmm. Sure does. It's gone beyond the territorial thing. Now it's a question of honor, whatever the hell that is. Hammett's out to get Tizo, no matter who gets killed in the process. Does Siobhan know this? I think Jack might have told her. What about Joe? I mean, suppose they do kill Tiso. Then what? I mean, do they stop there or do they keep well, going Well, it depends on who you're talking to. It might end up there. Joe might end up more involved than he ever was. That's the way it works out. I mean, we don't know what his relationship is to Tiso anyway. It's going to come out sooner or later, though. Yeah. Yeah, it will. How are the parents holding up? Oh, they're all right. They're out to the Feldman's having dinner. Oh. That's good. They should get out. Well, who's minding the store here? Yours truly. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get some practice in before I start over at Delia's Crystal Palace. That's oh, right. Oh, I wonder who thought up that name. How is that going, Robert? That's going terrific. You guys ought to stop over and take a look. Oh. Big glass rooms overlooking the park, crystal chandeliers, everything. Oh. Must be costing her a fortune. Well, apparently it doesn't matter. She must have made a killing in the commodities market or something like that. I talked with her accountant the other day, and apparently she just transferred another $200,000 oh. into the restaurant account. So she's doing a good, cool, businesslike. I think the whole thing is going to work out. Cool and businesslike. Yep. Wait a minute. This is Delia. This is Delia. This is not Delia. <laughs> Things are getting very strange around here. Get some plates. No, let's get out of the car. I always say spend it on. I even got chopsticks. Oh. Fine. Why don't you start a fire? Okay. You know, I really love this room. Did you do it yourself, or did some decorator help you? No, I did it myself. I thought so, I could tell. Yep. Accumulation of many years. Oh, this looks wonderful. You know, I'm crazy about Chinese food. I wasn't really even in the mood for pasta. And, uh, why didn't you mention that before? I was being polite. I have impeccable manners, haven't you noticed? Yeah. Seneca. I'm sorry, Kim. For what? For leaving Simori's like that. What are you talking about? We're having dinner, we're together. I like it better this way. I can reach over and touch you anytime I please. You have a great gift for dwelling on the positive. But I'm still thinking that you're 18 years old and you're in love. Yes. And you deserve to, to see New York and everything in it without worrying about who's going to see you with whom. You mean I should be out going to discos and things like that? Perhaps. With boys my own age? You're probably right. I wonder who's free tomorrow night. Kim. I'm serious. Let's think. There's got to be somebody. There's Buddy. He asked me out a couple of weeks ago, except he's so nervous I think I'm scared him. There's always Chester. He's always so earnest. I can't stand it. Who else? I don't know any people in New York. There's James. Who? James. I don't think he has a last name. He's mother's chauffeur. Nope. 
I like him, but he's even older than you are, believe it or not. I can't think of anybody. I think I'm stuck with you. Listen, I'm trying to be serious. So am I. We're okay. Are we? Are you? I thought we were. Maybe I'm being thick. Are you tactfully trying to tell me that you don't want to be with me anymore? You know better than that. But what I don't want, I don't want to see you locked into a situation that's a dead end. I don't want to see you losing out on anything because, because you're, you're afraid that we're going to run into your mother or some friends who might not understand. Do you understand how much I love you? Yes. Then that's all. I'm not giving up anything. I don't care about going to restaurants or out dancing. I have you and we're together. It's enough. Is it? It's everything. No sign of him yet. Who? Seneca and his uh, <clears throat> lady companion. You're absolutely right. You realize it's been a half an hour? Do you think they took it on the lamb? Mm, it uh, looks that way. I wonder why. Well, obviously, they don't want to be seen. Do you have any idea who it could be? No one I can think of. You know, if it had been up to my daughter, I would be the mystery lady. Did I ever tell you that she tried to fix me up with Seneca? He's not your type. Oh, I don't know about that. Seneca's kind of cute in a fatherly, pedantic sort of way. And not as cute as you are, dear. No, thank you. Anyway, obviously, I've missed my chance. Disappointed? No. No, actually, I wish them all the luck in the world. Whoever she is. <laughs> Look, are you sure you don't want one of these? <laughs> no, thank you. Will you tell him, tell him what he's missing? <laughs> They're great. Tell him what he's missing. It's okay. Yeah. Okay? Okay, they're terrific. I do not. That is, that's not true. Oh, no? No, I know how to make soup. From a can. <laughs> well, it still counts. Soup in a can. <laughs> Actually, one day, I'm going to find out he's a terrific chef. He's just been leading me on so that I do all the cooking. I don't believe it. You see how she treats me? Oh, you're so abused. I am. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Hi, Faith. Hi. Hi. Have you had dinner? No, I'm not really hungry. Oh, come on. The cheeseburgers are terrific tonight. I made them. Maybe later. Hey, you want a drink or anything? Yeah, yeah, Bob, I'll have a scotch. All right. You want water or ice in here? Um, water. Water. Yes, thank you. You just got off work. Yeah. Rough <laughs> day? You sort of. A little Cortez girl, her name's Julia. Mm -hmm. She had a cute case of meningitis, and we had complications. Mm -hmm. I thought for sure we'd lose her, but she pulled through. She's going to make it. That's good. Well, that's terrific. It's funny. When I realized that she was going to make it, I was relieved, yes. But I was surprised. Almost as if I didn't believe it. Why, she was that sick? Well, yeah, but it wasn't that. It's because I'm not usually like this. It was all of a sudden everything seemed so fragile that you can't count on anything. I mean, just the whole business with Tizo Novotny, the guns and Ryan, Tom yeah. and Mary. I'm thinking a lot about them. Thank you. I miss them, but I guess it's good to remember. Yeah, I, I think it is, Faye. You know, I was, this morning I was thinking about when Mary first learned how to drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah remember that? <laughs> yeah, she dragged us all over the city if she could convince Di to give her the car, but right, she had to do that. Yeah, which she always could. Yeah, yeah, yeah she could. Well, I remember so well the day that she first got her license. Because I was taking that class for high school students at Columbia University. And Mary came running in, dragged me out of class. Then we went and waited for you after work, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And That's who right. else was with Bob us? Bob was there. Pat yeah. was too, right? Yeah, Pat yeah. was. Yeah. Well, where was I? Well, you didn't hang out with us in those <laughs> days. <laughs> mm. It was such a wonderful summer's evening. It was a nice breeze. And Mary all of a sudden announced, I'm taking you all to Jones Beach. You made fun of her driving the entire time. I did not. You did, too. I did not. She threatened to pull over and bop you one. No. <laughs> no. No, she was a good driver. 
No, I was making fun of her sense of direction. <laughs> That's right. That's right, I That's was. Right. It would just cause. You see, she wouldn't let me look at a map. <laughs> she said that she was at the wheel and I had no authority to question her, whatever, her decisiveness or whatever. She, I can't remember. But anyway, we ended up driving around and around. We ended up in Elizabeth, New Jersey or something. <laughs> we finally got back here at about 6 in the morning. Ma was still up. I remember that. She, was, she almost had just about gone through her rosaries. <laughs> yeah, but Mary got around her. Yeah, just barely. But she managed to. She always did. It took us two more tries before we finally made it to Jones Beach. I'll tell you, she was a good driver, though. She was, she was so confident, she refused to wear a seatbelt. Except the day of the accident. And that is something I still do not understand. Nope. None of it makes sense. Probably never will. Okay, come on, give me your plate. No, Seneca did you a very good turn. This place is marvelous. Well, we should try to turn this into a regular event. Mm, you're on. I'm gonna miss you next week. Ray, I'm only gonna be in Miami for a couple of days. I mean, what does one do when one's presence is requested at a medical conference? One, one has to attend? One could stop pretending one isn't going to enjoy himself. Well, a couple of days in the sun, a little tan, I might pass through a medical conference or two. <laughs> you have any idea how much our friendship means to me? Where, uh, where did that come from? A little wave of insecurity, I think. Don't let's ever lose each other again, okay? Ah, we couldn't. Good. Why don't we drink to that, hmm? You're on. Uh-oh. We didn't. Hmm. No. There's more where that came from. Uh, well, look what we have here. What? Mm. Class all the way, Roger. Well, look, since Seneca and his companion were gracious enough to leave us a half a bottle of the house's best champagne... Absolutely. We cannot let it go to mm. waste. We must remember to thank them. To Seneca and his lady friend. Mm. Good. You still want to go dancing? I might break up the monotony. Hey. <laughs> you know, it's funny. What is? It used to be we could go anywhere. Out for dinner whenever we wanted. You'd come to my rehearsals. Nobody thought anything of it. And now... Yeah. I keep having this urge to rent out a big billboard this big and write on it, Kim loves Seneca. Except I'm afraid somebody would see. Isn't it fair, is it? No. It would be so nice to go off someplace where nobody knows us. We could have long walks and go out for dinner and go dancing. We'd still raise a few eyebrows, you know. But we wouldn't care. And then we'd go home afterwards and I'd stay the night and wake up next to you in the morning. Yeah. It would be wonderful. Mm-hmm. I guess it's impossible, though. Isn't it? I'm not sure. Seneca. Now, I, I was invited to a medical convention down in Florida for a few days next week. And you didn't even tell me. Oh, I turned it down. It just didn't seem the right time to go away. Because of me? Yeah. Anyway, I, I could rearrange the plans. And we could both go? Could we? Of course we can. I don't know. It might be very difficult to convince your mother to let you go away. Don't worry about that. I'll think of something. 
three days, just us. Yeah. A new original reality series on SoapNet. Mom and Dad are moving in for a financial intervention. It's a matter of life or debt. Bank of Mom and Dad. All new Wednesday at 10, only on SoapNet.